everyone. I thought that I'd do this quick video to show some of my favorite things that we get from Costco. My husband and I love shopping at Costco because you can buy in bulk. And surprisingly enough, um, well, I guess not surprisingly, I guess a lot of stores are moving into more of the organic um, way of purchasing their products for their consumers. But there is uh, a lot of organic products there. Um, so let's jump right into this. Uh, in the frozen section, I we love to buy frozen vegetables. Yes, we do go to the farmer's market uh, pretty much every Saturday now that they're back and everything and in full force. Um, but we do love frozen vegetables. Uh, we just throw them in the steamer. One of our favorites is um, the organic green beans. They come in this pack. This one's actually not new. Uh, we've been eating on it, so we love that. Um, my husband looks like he disposed of the big package, but we really like the, right next to it, our organic broccoli. And in the big bag come these individually small bags, which is actually like the perfect amount for, I'd say, two to three people. They also have like a vegetable medley, which has, um, you know, different various, got cauliflower, carrots, broccoli, and I think, what else is in there? Carrots, yellow carrots. Okay. And lastly, we use frozen, um, this by Cascadian Farm. We really like that brand. Um, frozen fruits. This has raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries in it. I use it for making smoothies and Sometimes when we eat oatmeal, mix them in there, cools the oatmeal down and sweetens it up a bit because um, we don't buy like the sweet oatmeal. We like to keep it kind of more natural, get the seal cut plain, and it definitely sweetens it up. So that's the frozen section of my favorites. Um, I also want to show you guys some refrigerated stuff. I love hummus. My dad actually makes this himself, but if you don't have time, uh, Costco carries organic hummus, and it's it's pretty big little container, a big little, pretty big container full of hummus. Um, this also has been eaten on. They have organic strawberry spread of just, um, you know, kind of like a jelly or jam. I like to eat that on like bagels or toast. Then they have organic peanut butter, and it's creamy. It used to look a little different and they changed it. I'm, I'm thinking, we haven't tried this new kind, but I'm thinking they might have changed it a little bit. Um, all organic things do separate and you have to shake it and everything. And so it would separate, the oil would go to the top and everything would go to the bottom. It looks like this isn't gonna do it as much and it seems like it's gonna be creamier and not so thick and difficult to stir. Um, we also like to buy this organic maple syrup. It's, if you've never had like organic syrup before, then it's a little bit different. It's, um, I guess, more watery, not as thick. So just be careful when you pour it. But it's really, really delicious, if not better than your traditional syrup. Also, I found some organic sugar. So that's really cool. I like it in my coffee or baking. So we don't use it too. Oh, my husband has a sweet, sweet tooth for sweet tea. He doesn't like any other sweets really. I mean me, I'm a chocoholic. You see me sneaking cookies behind my daughter's back and stuff. Um, but um, he definitely doesn't have a sweet tooth, but he definitely likes his tea sweet. He's from the South, so. Um, this isn't food related, but this giant bag of baking soda I think was like $4. Um, I use this if you haven't seen my cleaning video, which I'll link down below. Use this for cleaning. I just sprinkle it in the bottom of the tub or the shower, and then I spray um, my mixture of water and white vinegar, and it makes a little paste, and you scrub it, and it cleans, cleans your tub. I mean, there's multiple uses for it, obviously. Um, it even says on here it's good for cleaning your pool. Um, you can put it in your wash your, when you're washing your clothes. I also use it, I always brush my teeth twice. I love keeping my mouth very clean and um, it whitens my teeth, so I love that. Um, I guess back to food, sorry this is out of order. These are not organic. Um, I think these were like a little over a dollar for this huge bunch of bananas, which we will not go through before they start um, being too ripe. So what I'll do is I will um, peel them, 
cut them in half and put them in the refrigerator so I can put in smoothies. Also, my mom has a cool Yo Nana, which we make banana ice cream for Natalie and for us. And you, we can also put blueberries or that, uh, that uh, mix of frozen berries in it. So um, the reason why it's not necessary to buy organic bananas is because the skin is so thick. So wonderful. Bananas are very healthy. And it looks like um, I have, these are not that healthy either. Um, they are animal crackers and this, it's this huge tub. I believe it's like $10, but, and they're organic as you can see. Now, obviously I know it's processed and it has sugar and it's not like healthy just because it says organic. I know. Um, but you know, Natalie every once in a while is entitled to a treat and a little cookie. We used to just, um, get like little boxes of, you know, all natural or organic from Whole Foods or whatever. And Costco, you know, if you buy in bulk, it's your Definitely, it's a deal, saving money. So, there's that. And this is, I know it's uh, not the most um, chemical-free, but I am obsessed with this shampoo and conditioner. This one's already open. Um, I just really like it. It um, I have really thick, frizzy, kind of, kind of coarse hair, I would say. Um, and, I mean, even if I don't brush my hair before I get in the shower to get the knots out. I mean, I feel like the conditioner really just gets the knots right out and um, it's not, it doesn't have like a strong fragrance or anything. It doesn't claim to be like all natural really. I mean, it does have claim a few things here on the bottom. Sulfate free, 100% vegan, paraben free, which is a big one for me and gluten free, which I guess that's kind of silly cause you don't eat it, but um, yeah, it's made with pure natural extracts. Um, you can see it does have a long list of ingredients. And um, like I said, it's not the best like all natural shampoo and conditioner, but it definitely um, is a good one and I love it. So, oh, I think, I don't think I showed you guys these. Snap Pea Crisps, again, um, it doesn't say organic. It does say all natural. The ingredients are green peas, corn oil, corn oil rice, salt, and calcium carbonate and vitamin C. So obviously it's processed. Um, again, it's not something that's like very healthy to eat all the time, but it's definitely a healthier alternative than Cheetos. So I wouldn't call us a crunchy family. Uh, we try to eat the best that we can and eat healthy uh, when we can. And um, I've heard the phrase, pay for it now or pay for it later. Yes, organic food does cost more and you're gonna pay more now, but later, when you have health problems, you're going to pay for it then. So would you rather pay for it now or pay for it later? So anyways, hope you guys liked my Costco favorites. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.